Thank you, Scott. All right, so let's talk in stages from reluctant bear to neutral on stocks. Now, where are you today? So we're still neutral on stocks. And I've been watching your lunchtime show and your conversation with Lizanne and Adam earlier. And, you know, it's all about those long and variable lags. You have to worry about those. And that's keeping us from going all the way full bull long stocks. And, you know, at the same time, I think you called it the big mattress, the big mattress of money that's cushioning the economy into this landing here tells us that things should be OK. And the Fed is, uh, you know, about to cut rates. But what makes you think that the lag effects are still going to have an effect? Like maybe what the Fed's done has already had rolling impacts, so you're not going to have the big effect that the more cautious market observers seem to think is still to come. Look, I expect a soft landing, but I think the risk there is look at, for example, credit card debt or look at weak companies that need to roll their debt into much higher interest rates or look at commercial real estate. So there's still fragilities. And again, it, this, it feels comfortable and new, at neutral. It's kind of the return of the balanced approach. We're going to get some volatility on growth, but the most of the volatility on inflation is kind of gone, at least the crazy volatility in inflation. So it just feels like a neutral kind of environment here as we get more data uh, come in. But yes, Scott, I mean, those lags have hit on a rolling basis. They will probably continue to hit on a rolling basis, which, you know, means there's still some fragilities in markets. I just find it interesting that that somebody who suggests that we're going to have a soft landing isn't more positive on stocks. One would seem to naturally follow the other by the time you get, you know, overweight or whatever uh, language you would use to describe a more positive view, the market would have gotten just further away from you, no? Yeah, and look, Scott, here's a different way in which we're positive. We're actually long small and mid caps under the hood, slightly short duration, long credit, long emerging markets. So we like to take the long risk positions where relative valuations are more attractive. So you keep it neutral on top, but under the hood, you could add some octane in there and just recognize that this is kind of a balanced outlook. Scott, bottom line is a lot of it is priced in. You know, in November, we just had the record, record easing in financial conditions, the largest one month easing in financial conditions in November. The dollar pulled back, equities rallied, spreads compressed, rates came down. I'm not sure that's what the Fed wanted, Scott. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I guess we'll hear from uh, the chair himself tomorrow, and we can't wait for that. Sebastian, thank you. I appreciate it. Sebastian Page.